This is a grasshopper video tutorial for what we call a box flock. Um, we have here Steve Bagnato, Calvin Lamb, and Jack Wagonek. A box flock can be described pretty much as a series of assorted boxes of different shapes and sizes, which mimics the form of a flock of birds migrating in the sky, um, pretty much having this series of assorted boxes following a point, um, almost like a lead, the leader bird. Um, so there are three phases for this tutorial, and we will begin with the first, which is to create a field of points in the XYZ direction. And the second phase will be to assign the assorted um, geometries um, to the field of points. And finally, the third phase will be to extend the assorted geometries and rotate each box is along an axis from the center of the boxes to the to a secondary point that we have, that we'll create. And as you can see here, um, we are creating an origin point x and y um, x y z at zero, and we're creating everything within Grasshopper so that we don't have to actually work in Rhino at all. So here we have taken uh, on the top a the origin point on the bottom set at 111, the secondary point, and we have moved the first point from the second point just to create a distance between them. And we measured the distance um, between the two points to get the um, relationship between the two. And we are going to create the um, series um, of the box script pretty much. Um, through the series function, and we have hooked it up to a point uh, x and uh, hooked up the series to the XYZ point just so the cross reference function can be made to um, allow the points to occur. And because the size of the current um, definition is a bit too great, um, we're going to multiply it by a number less than one, which is pretty much dividing. The, um, the number, um, it's pretty much the vision, uh, to reduce the size of the definition. Just so it's manageable. Um, right now we have not yet changed the um, sliders to uh, an appropriate um, number that will be, allow you to view the function. Uh, the definition, but um, we're keeping it as minimal as possible just so that it it will be manageable to um, work with, just so the grasshopper does not lag. Now we have created the center box, uh, center box function here, which will be assigned to each of the points in the grid, and we are assigning the integers here will be the width, depth, and height for the center box. Which is, um, which is hooked up to the X, Y, and Z here. And this is pretty much the box field that will occur. Now the B there that is not hooked up will um, be the plane. Um, we're going to hook up to an X, Y plane, which we're looking for here. And what that does is that it sets the point um, from each of the grid from the top. Um, we're going to hook it up to the XY plane so that each of the point has a XY plane for the box to appear in. And we are going to jitter the function um, just so that not every single point will have a XY plane, um, allowing kind of a reduction or um, randomization, so to speak, of where boxes will appear. In relationship to the box, um, to each of the points, and we're gonna set um, the J to a one uh, for a complete shuffle, and the S will is um, a means of patterning. Um, you'll create variation pattern if you change that um, slider. Now um, we're going to take the distance between
the origin point and the secondary point. Oh, correction. Um, from the secondary point to um, each of the points in the box grid, um, in the field pretty much, just so that there's a relationship between the secondary point, which is at 111 right now, to every single point um, that is in the field. Now we're gonna again multiply it um, by a number less than one because um, just to reduce the scale to a manageable size. And um, it will draw a relationship between um, the width, height, and depth. So uh, right now, the split function is being used again um, to, in a sense, further randomize the um, width, depth, and height of the um, each of the boxes um, to kind of create the assorted geometries, assorted boxes that we are um, aiming to create uh, to generate. And that is hooked up to a multiplication just to reduce the sizes of some of the dimensions so that the shapes can be varied. And right now the split is set at 10 um, to create the different patterning um, that um, the dimensions will take. And now while we are furthering jittering the box, um, this the box field, um, and at the same time, we are um, taking the area function for the box and um, hooking, up, hooking that up so that we can have um, the center point um, highlighted for each of the boxes. And, and the jitter um, on top um, from this is to create a new set of jitter points to be moved based on the existing set of points in the field. And now we um, we have the um, x, y, z vec uh, vector that is hooked up to the distance, um, the relationship between the center point and the origin point. And that ori orienting that will help orient the new set of jitter points along the trajectory uh, from the center of each box to the origin point. So it's kind of attract all the points um, towards that origin point. And we're going to draw a line um, between each of the points in the field and also the secondary point um, that is offset at one one right now. Just so that we'll create that way we can create um, a line for an axis to um, occur between the, each of the box centers to the se um, to the secondary point for um, the rotation of each of the boxes to occur, and we have selected a rotation uh, three dimensional three D rotate tool, um, and that uh, we are going to hook up with the jitter box, uh, which is hooked up to the box field and also um, the um, we're going to create a slider um, for the second variable a which will determine the angle um, that the degrees are in. Um, right now we're adjusting each of the sliders to um, an appropriate number so that the definition can make an appearance. And let's go back to the rotation of the 3D. Uh, 3D rotation, and we're gonna hook up um, in C the each the center um, points of each of the boxes, um, and lastly in X um, we're gonna hook up to line, which is the axes um, drawn from each of the line, to, uh, each of the point of the centers boxes to the secondary point. And now um, with that being completed, here we have um, the two. We have the oops, here we have the two um, geometries um, 
the set of um, the original um, box grid that we have created of the sorted geometries and here expanded um, is the second set um, of um, assorted geometries that we moved um, that is randomized and follows a secondary point at, that we have moved to 20, 2020 around there. So you see all the geometries are rotating towards that point. Thank you.